If you dropped a toaster into the ocean, it would send a shockwave through the water. Not a shockwave, it'd be electric current dispersing through the conductive medium. Interesting, uh, seawater is going to be more conductive than fresh water because it's salty. Long enough to kill a fish. But what if you wanted to electrify the entire ocean? What? Well, you would need two toasters the size of a <laughs> continent placed on opposite sides of the earth. So over a billion cubic kilometers of water. That's an enormous resistive load. And it's not just size, but voltage potential and power delivery. Even continent-sized electrodes wouldn't meaningfully electrify the entire ocean unless you had astronomical amounts of energy. Oh, and those high voltages would arc through the atmosphere. Together, they would send electric currents ripping through the water, powerful enough to reach most of the sea. So they're going to disperse spherically and diminish with the square of the distance from the source. So your input power would need to be planetary in scale to accomplish this. This still wouldn't be enough. But powering something that massive would require more electricity than the entire planet could generate. Oh, by a lot. Even every nuclear power plant on Earth times a thousand would barely scratch the surface. You would need output comparable to thousands of nuclear detonations per second to truly electrify the ocean, which would also destroy the biosphere of this planet long before the electric field got.